week. So hope everybody relax, take time off, but at the same time, still peek, still peek at your playbook, still peek, peek at your iPad and see what the Dolphins are doing so we don't have to be one behind when we get back. You guys have now taken down two of the top quarterbacks in the league. How does winning on the road become kind of the next step? Is it a goal? What do you guys have to do to turn that page? Winning is a goal. No matter if it's home or away. We're just trying to win. We need to just start stacking them. Not not just beat the big teams and go back to mediocre. We got to start stacking those wins. And the only way we're going to stack them, we got to start hounding in on our concentration just a little bit more. When we get back, that's 11 straight weeks. Ain't no break. Ain't nothing to think about. So enjoy your bye week. When we get back, we mentally have to put this all together because we have no breaks and nothing once we get back. Ricky, you guys have seen the tape now when you guys can be dominant in all three phases of the first half in this past game and against the Patriots as well. I mean, what is the difference of trying to replicate that type of performance from week in and week out? How is, why is it as difficult to do than it is to maybe talk about it? Focus. You got to focus. Every position got to focus. Every individual got to focus. You just have to... You got to be willing to sacrifice a few things to, to keep getting the same thing because consistency is one of the hard things for just a human alone to, to actually do. And to be able to do it as a team, we got to learn how to be consistent and be focused all the time and consistently be, I mean, be able to execute every time because we just can't keep executing as big quarterbacks. It's more than, than that in this, in, a, in this league. So we got to learn how to, to replicate it over and over and over and over until it becomes routine. I think that's one of the things that Matt Patricia tried to do to make stuff routine so it won't it so it becomes second nature to you. How does the bye week help you kind of work through some of those issues and get to be a more consistent team coming out? We get um, probably myself. I normally go upstairs and just tell them give us all the negative plays we had throughout time and just start analyzing and start looking at it and make sure when I get when we, when we get back. We actually know what we're looking at. We know what team's going to game plan. We know what team's going to do. They, they've seen us have gaps, holes, run game, pass game, whatever. So as long as I have it and I know what we can see or what we can improve at, that's the first step right there. Ricky, what is your biggest you know, reason for concern right now? I guess I'm sure there's plenty of optimism, but the biggest reason for concern first. What do you guys have to fix the most, I guess, right now? Right now? Yeah. Hmm. Just being focused. That's it. Being focused, but being focused consistently. Not just do it one week because it's a big team. And the next week, every NFL team, every team in the NFL is a big team. Every week is a game. It's not guaranteed. Only thing that's guaranteed, that's guaranteed from this point out, you have 11 weeks. Whatever you do with it is now, that's up to us. So we have to be focused. We got to like hone in on our assignments and what we need to do and what we need to do to get better as a team and not as an individual. That's one. That, yeah, that's one of the main concerns. The run game. We gotta. We gotta make sure we stop. I mean, stop allowing teams to be able to be balanced. You see what happens when we make teams one-dimensional. We actually can beat them and put them in a position for us to win. But once we let a team allow them to be balanced and let them use their weapons, it's hard for us to run with them. Or either we made the game a lot difficult for ourselves. Have you seen focus kind of fluctuate from week to week based on opponent? It just. It just feel like that on game day. Like on game day, you see stuff that we used to hitting all the time or you might have a misassignment here or somebody might be have lack of focus but we got to realize you know when we get back we got to focus you want to make that playoff run you want to become a championship team a division championship whatever it may be the first thing you got to do you got to become focused you have to become focused to to this this must be your focus if you want to make that run for the playoff or either get back to i don't know where we're at in division on top of the division or playoff bound whatever that let me go the opposite of the day. What's the one thing that you've seen so Thank far you. in the first Sorry, five games nice that's given you optimism? Sorry, <laughs> that's given you optimism. Uh, none has given me optimism. The only thing I just want just the focus to become like just overcome, overcompensate the the focus. Like I want you to, to make sure that I might use I might use the wrong word in the wrong uh, way. I just want everybody to be focused to the point like this is what you pay attention to. Everything on outside of them walls. Outside of the gates doesn't mean that once you walk in. When you walk in, you got to lock in and become that. Because if we're, we know we're a good team. See the teams that we beat. But the only way we're going to consistently keep doing that, it's got to be the focus. Is that, is that part of a concern on the bye week that you guys may lose a little focus with that break? I wouldn't blame you to lose focus this week. This is a bye week. Just, 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 just a bye week right here. You can lose focus all you want after this week. But my thing is just stay a professional at the same time. Look at the stuff. Like I said with myself, I'm going to take my iPad and tell the people upstairs to cut up all the negative plays we had and see what we can improve at and start. Like, 
I don't care if I got to text JD or one of the players around, like, hey, we can get better at this. I think we can make an adjustment with this. That's the first step once we need to start doing. Enjoy your body. We can join your family. Spend your time off. Cause like I said, we're coming back for 11 straight weeks to grind. But right now, make sure you still peak at football. Just don't lose it all. So when you asked for, like, the negative plays, because Matt talked about this a little bit, he just said, you know, like, he sees things maybe that, that we don't see or that haven't been exposed in the defense yet. So give us an idea since we've never been in your shoes. When you say, give me the negative plays from the game, are we here? Is, it, is that four or five? Is that a handful, a dozen? Like, what do we need? What does that end up being? Anything that made the game difficult for ourselves and what we and what we don't execute. That's the that's the biggest thing. I don't know I can't put my like my finger on like you guys said. The run game is one, but everything else I can't put my finger on what we need to get better at, but we just need to watch it as a team, individual, whatever it is, as long as your eyes get used to seeing it, you know now when we play the Dolphins and whomever after that, you know that's going to be one thing they're going to key in on because every team has been doing the same thing. Such, like you said, the run game. They know how to get outside of it. They know how to, to pierce or penetrate our defense. But we need to get better as individuals than a team to be able to stop that run game. And like I said, if we can get a team one dimension, it's hard for, hard for you to beat us because our offense is rolling. As long as you put our offense in position to score, I don't know who can stop them. I apologize if this sounds nosy, but besides looking at the negative plays, what else do you plan to do during the bye week? Um, my new home finished being built. Never been inside of it yet. My wife has my kid. I'm going to enjoy the house. <laughs> <laughs> Park, finally. Yeah, I'm parking. When did it finish? When did it finish? Uh, it finished the day, the day I got the call. Wow. The day I got a car, I had to leave. Wow. So I don't know what the house looked like, how my wife set it up and all that. I got to be able to sit. And I, hey, to have a woman touching the house, I don't mind. Go ahead. Yeah. Just leave me my one room. Just give me my one room. You can have the rest of the house. Just give me the one room. Is that the one? No, they ain't got basements in Florida, but it's like a theater room. So that's my one room. Let me have my room. They can have the rest of the house. Just let me get my room. So you didn't get there like when you had the long weekend, like cuts weekend or anything like that? Mm-hmm. I ain't really get a chance, to, not a really chance to like sit in that house and really get a chance to yeah. think about it. I had to think about how to move all my stuff from one location to there before, like I said, before I got that phone call.